What's up guys, Joe here. Today, we're gonna to be doing something cool. I'm gonna be showing you how to change the battery in a Nintendo Switch. We all know how important the battery is when we're playing those long game sessions. I'm gonna show you how to prolong that battery life, put a new battery in, and get that same reliability you got from your Nintendo Switch when you first bought it. Let's get started. For this repair, you're gonna need a Y bit and a Phillips bit screwdriver a pry tool, tweezers, a plastic spudger, iFixit guitar picks, and alcohol. You're gonna start off by removing the Joy-Con controllers. And on the back side of the switch, you'll remove the four Y screws that are on the four corners of the frame. That is the only Y screws you'll have, so everything else will be Phillips. With your Phillips bit, you're gonna to wanna to remove the center screw that connects where your Joy-Con is. There's five Phillips screws. You're gonna just remove the center one. You'll repeat that on the other side. Now you'll wanna kick up your kickstand, and there's one Phillips screw underneath there You'll need to remove that Phillips screw as well. Now remove the one screw at the top. And there's two more down by the USB-C connection. With all those screws removed, open up the game card slot and you should be able to just pull up on the back panel and remove it and that will re reveal the bottom heat shield panel. You'll want to remove the screw that's holding the SD card slot. Use your plastic spudger tool, lift up on it. And as you can see, underneath this black foam is where the connection is. You just wanna slide your spudger under there, pry up a little bit, and that, that Lego connection comes free. Now you'll wanna remove the six screws holding the shield plate on. Now you can just lift up that shield plate. With the shield plate gone, you can see all the internals of the switch. You can see right here is a heat coil to dissipate heat with some thermal paste. Has a good size fan, about the same size as a fan you'd see in a MacBook. You have the motherboard, the speakers, and then this large square over here. This is the battery. This is what we'll be replacing today. Before you do anything with the battery, use your plastic spudger tool, slide it underneath the cables and disconnect the battery. As you can see, the battery is kind of enclosed with this metal frame. So you can just squirt some rubbing alcohol around the edges here and that'll loosen up the adhesive that's holding in the old battery. Um, unfortunately, I could not find my little squirt bottle for the alcohol. So I'm gonna do a little hack here. I poured some alcohol in this jar. I'm gonna get it with a straw and I'm gonna drop it down in around the battery. The reason you wanna use alcohol is because alcohol is safe for the electronics and it also dries fairly quickly. So it'll do its job and then it'll get out of there. We'll move the battery around a little bit, give it a minute so it can do its job and soften the adhesive. Once the adhesive is softened, softened, we should be able to work our way in here. So even with the alcohol working in our favor, this adhesive is very strong. There we go. We finally got it out. You can see most electronics, it's just a, some strips. They did the entire battery as adhesive. That's why it was such a pain to get out. Luckily we got it out though. Once you have the battery out though, you'll wanna clean out the excess alcohol, get all that out of your way, and get ready for the new battery. All right, so the new battery didn't come with any adhesive. So I'll be using some of this red Tessa tape to adhere it down. 
I'll leave links in the description for everything that I use. That way you guys can also use it. Just put the tape all the way around. I really don't feel like Nintendo really needed to put as much tape as they did on that thing, but since they did, I'll put a little extra of this on here. This is real thin Tessa tape. This is 0.1 or half a millimeter, I think, wide. Uh, I would normally go a little thicker, but this is all I have left, so don't get mad at me. Now with the adhesive on there, I'll peel off the red film. Now my battery, if you see the old battery where the adhesive is, it has that corner shape thing on there. Mine had it on the same side, so I know which way mine goes in. If you're, if the battery you get doesn't have that, then just look at your connections. You see how that one's folded over, so I need to fold mine over. And just make sure you're, once you have them laid out the same, that the connections are in the same, not only in the same position, but turned the correct way so they can plug into the board. So there, I'll put my new battery in, fold over my ribbon cables, or at least try to. These ribbon cables are pretty stiff. Once I have them folded properly, I can just snap my battery into place. Like that, that's good to go. Now, flip, the, flip it down where I have the charge port facing me. I will put the shield plate back on and the six Phillips screws that hold it in place. With my shield plate screwed in, now I can reinstall the SD card. This one's really easy to install. Just go ahead and screw it in place and then push that down and it'll snap into place. With the SD card slot in, now you can just snap your plastic frame back in place. Make sure you have all the plastic clips snapped in. Lift up your kickstand, reinstall the one Phillips screw that goes there. Install your one Phillips screw into the top of the switch and your two Phillips screws on each side of the charge port. Now, the screws in the center where the Joy-Cons plug in. That's all the Phillips screws. So we'll grab our Y bit and screw the four Y screws back into the back of the frame. And you are all done. I don't know if this battery has a charge, but we'll turn this sucker on and see what it does. Has about half charge. It looks like everything's working just fine. Try plugging it in, make sure it charges. Yep, there we go. Battery charging. All right, as you can see, that's not too bad of a gig right there. It's fairly simple. You don't need a whole lot of tools. The hardest part is working, hey. The hardest part is working that adhesive free on the old battery. Once you get through that, it's really easy sailing and you'll be back to gaming in no time. Thanks again for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. It's really important. Please like the video that helps the YouTube algorithm so I can get seen more and hopefully continue to grow this channel more and continue to give you guys the subpar content you've been getting, but hopefully get better and give you guys good content on how to fix your own devices so you don't feel like you have to constantly replace them and you can get more life out of them. All the good things. It's good to see you guys. Joe here again. Peace out.